to start the show. Uh, let's talk about The Walking Dead because The Walking Dead is still around. Just in case you guys hadn't realized, I felt like it was like a year ago we talked about this subject, and we were like, "Why is there still Walking Dead shows? Like this, this show hasn't been hot in like seven or eight years. Why is it still going on?" A uh, little reminder here, just in case you guys weren't fans of like Walking Dead, it was like a huge thing, like in the late two thousands. It started out like its own video game, a successful television show. Everyone loved The Walking Dead, especially towards like the mid twenty tens. Like it was the number one show on television. When they brought in Negan, I believe they had got like seventeen million people or like basic cable to watch uh, the Walking Dead series. Like it was a massive hit. And then after a while, people just stopped caring. When I say stopped caring, um, like I said, 17 million people watched the Negan episode, the premiere. By the time the show ended, they only had about less than 2 million people watching the show. So they lost roughly 15 million viewers in the final like five or six years of the show. And you just think to yourself, why is this still going on? It's like, what more indication do you need that you have completely lost the audience? Than losing 15 million uh, viewers, like some shows will never even gain 15 million. You lost 15 million, but I guess their way of getting around this is well, we ended the regular show, so now we're gonna have a bunch of spinoffs. So there's three spinoffs that I know of that are going on right now in The Walking Dead. You have one that has Maggie and Negan in New York City for some reason. You have one with Daryl who's overseas. Uh, I think he's like in, he's in, in Europe France. now. He's in fucking France. Yeah. Norman Reedus is fighting zombies in France. I just. Why? Chat GPT. I, it's the only thing I can think of. It's the only <laughs> thing I can think of. And then you have another uh, one, which is The Walking Dead, The Ones, which is the one with Rick. So I remember like five years ago, Rick left the show, and that was supposed to be like the end of Rick. Well, that was what we were told. So what happened was is that Rick finally left the show after like 10 years, and they were teasing, oh, this is going to be his last episode. He's going to die. And then he got saved at the very last moment in the episode. And then he comes on in The Talking Dead show and tells everyone, hey, guys, I got three new Walking Dead movies coming down the pike. We were like, Fuck off! <laughs> like it's not, this this whole thing is done. It's toast. Let it go. But uh, apparently the movie didn't exactly uh, pan out the way that they wanted it to. But they're working on a new Walking Dead series featuring Rick. So I, I I just don't get it at this point. They will not let this show die. It's been over for almost ten years now. But Walking Dead spinoff center around Rick and uh, Mitrion is revealed to, with the new uh, host information during the New York Comic Con. This is uh, last or this was a couple of weeks ago and the show's been titled uh the walking dead the ones who live it'll debut next february and the new teaser trailer can be seen below with new photos that have been released for the show uh multiple cast members have been confirmed uh i don't even know who these people are it's been so long so i can just assume that these are popular characters but yeah they're gonna do this is their third spinoff here in the walking dead so they've broken up the original show and now they're just gonna do a series of spinoffs uh to keep people uh, interested you got to be in a, a complete mark of The Walking Dead to still care about this at this point oh in time. Oh, my gosh. Michonne is the size of a truck. What yeah. happened? Did they find a Twinkie factory? I, I guess. I mean, they're still good, right? You can still Holy eat those. Holy hell. <laughs> and what this... happened? Did she eat the Ghostbusters Twinkie? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is not the only uh, show going on uh, right now. They have season two of The Walking Dead's uh, Daryl Dixon, and they're bringing Carol back, uh, everyone, because you guys still care about Daryl and, and Carol, right? So here's the thing. They, she was originally supposed to be a part of this spinoff, but she didn't want to have to go all the way to France or the Netherlands, wherever they shoot this show at. She didn't want to go overseas uh, for a year to film this show. So the first season was basically just him. And now that I guess they somehow got her to agree to actually do the second season. Now she's coming back to the show as well. So The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon is a, re a reprisal of a season um, that came out last year. This is on, I believe, uh, AMC Plus, which if you guys, you know how much of a degenerate you have to be to have uh, AMC Plus uh, at this point in time. Like, people stop. barely want to fucking keep cable at this point. You want to have AMC Plus, you fuckheads. Yeah. Norman, as much as I love Norman Reedus, get the fuck off of uh, what's the show called, The Walking Dead? Yeah. And fucking do Boondocks Three already. Boondocks Three. Yes. 
I'm, I'm at a loss for words here. It's like this is just so stupid. So this is the second season of this show. Then, of course, you have this show, which is the Negan uh, Maggie show, the Walking Dead spinoff on uh, in New York called Walking Dead Dead City. So, like I said, it's just we're going to take the characters from the show that didn't draw any ratings for like the last five years. And we're going to break them off into several uh, different spinoffs. That way we can keep doing the show over and over again. And then I, at this point, I have to wonder, like, is this the only thing that these actors can like do now? It's like, at what point do you be like, no, I don't want to be on this show anymore. I don't want to do walking dead anymore. Like I'm, I'm over this, but I guess if it's a consistent six figure paycheck, I mean, why not just accept the fact that this is all you're ever going to be known for and, and go all in. But I, I, I got to look up the numbers for this. I can't imagine that the numbers of this is any good at this point. But Cider, you seem to be pretty well versed in the Walking Dead franchise at this point. What do you think about the fact that they will not let this die? Uh, honestly, uh, what's really driving it is the streaming service itself. Uh, it has to provide content, and they believe that this is something that will continue to deliver. Uh, just look at the Fast franchise, Fast and Furious guys. It's really nothing that it was when it originally started, and they've done spinoffs of it as well. And, you know, this is the formula that they're trying to, like, extract with this Walking Dead multiverse, I guess they're building, the cinematic universe of the Walking Dead. Um, honestly, the, re the, the that's what's driving it, and the fact that people keep tuning in. I mean, really. It would be dead if people just stopped watching it, and they're not. That's the problem. Mm. Rob brings up a good point here. I'll shoot this one over to Rob because, like, yeah, I mean, AMC had Mad Men, Breaking Bad, and The Walking Dead. I mean, these are all TV shows that kind of defined the, the, the 2010s, and they were all under M AMC's umbrella. But all of those shows, I mean, at least the original versions of these shows have all ended. They're still trying to find ways to I guess, squeeze whatever they can out of them like i know the better call saul show i think is either still on or it just ended fairly recently but like i said it feels like they were on top and they didn't really have any other ideas to stay on top so they're just going to keep milking these ideas for as much as they can uh, what's kind of your thoughts yep. here on the walking dead situation here yeah i mean look i i watched the first four seasons i think um mm -hmm. and i i actually really liked the whole governor storyline and the, the whole prison thing but it got really old really fast when i was just like this is not going anywhere new we're going in circles and the fact that it's still on the air and it's birthed multiple spin-offs i i'm surprised that it still has an audience like what what do you want and it seems like the kind of thing that would that would almost have like not i mean it's graphic and detail so it wouldn't be on network tv but it's the kind of content where it's like this should have a 24 episode season on ABC. You know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. again, it's the kind of show that won't, that they won't do that, but it, I, I'm just surprised, you know, like I said, there's an audience for it. Uh, I still want to read the original graphic novels, you know, the five volumes or whatever by Robert yeah. Kirkman. Um, Cause I think, I think they're there. I've heard really great things about them, but they are just milking this franchise for all it's worth. And it's like, it's, it's some, you know, someone said in the chat, but it's like, you're not supposed to become you know, what your show is about, literally. So it's like, um, it's unfortunate that um, they took something that was relatively promising and just didn't find an end for it. And that's that's the downside of TV in general, is that it, it, it sort of exists to continue and go on yeah. and go on and go on. If, again, if you have a disciplined showrunner who has a creative vision, hopefully you don't go past five, six seasons. Because outside of that, it's like, do you, do you really have a plan? Or are you just spinning your wheels at a certain point? 